This is a solar trickle can water heater. Um, what I'm showing here is that because it's a trickle down system, they can often suffer from condensation problems. But I think I've resolved this issue by making it almost a semi sealed system. So that all the benefits of a trickle down system, but none of the losses through condensation. The main component of the solar panels are aluminium cans, which of course are free. So you shouldn't have too many problems finding them. Uh, there's a, obviously a few things you have to do to them before you can fit them into the panel. Um, first of all, you have to cut off the ends and then squash them flat. Now there is a particular way of doing this so that you don't damage them and cause leaks. Uh, it isn't too difficult. It's very quick to do. There are other processes which you can carry out on the can which will make it more efficient in conducting the heat from the sun into the water that's flowing on the inside. Once you have a number of flattened cans, you can join them together and uh, help seal the joins with some aluminium tape. This isn't to make them waterproof, that's carried out by another method. You then need to support the cans on a wooden plinth and hold them in place with some aluminium strips which you can make from the cans. You then have to prepare the ends of the can by drilling the centre and inserting a small PEX insert and then once that is in position add some food grade silicon tubing and there you have the input and output of the cans sorted. This is a picture of the batten turned upside down. Uh, the cans are now being held in place by stapling the strip to the batten. Uh, be careful the staple doesn't go all the way through and puncture the can. There are specialist paints on the market for painting solar panels I found this brick and tile paint to be very good. It seems to withstand the temperature that's generated under the, under the panel. What you can see here is one of the solar can assemblies. The strips across the top are pressing the top surface down so it comes into contact with the water that's flowing underneath. Uh, the dimples that you can see there have been quite a breakthrough in making this system work in that it stops any backflow from occurring so that you can increase the flow rate of the water. Although this doesn't look a particularly elegant way of uh, doing it, uh, it is certainly one of the cheapest ways I've found to do it. Um, I will be trying some other methods a bit later on. The solar panel frame is a very simple construction as you can see, butt jointed and screwed. I've used decking around the edges because it's pre-treated and some OSB but I would use ply if I built it again. don't like OSB very much. Uh, there's the frame. The glazing frame is fitted on the top. That was rescued from a greenhouse. That saved me some money. The glass isn't in at the moment. I would then treat the whole lot with some kind of preservative. I've used a water-based one for fences because it's got low odour. And there's the panel that's uh, populated with its sub-panels. 14 in all, about 1.1 meters long. One advantage to the system is that it doesn't need any soldering, which makes it a lot safer to construct. In fact, you could almost do this on your kitchen table. Uh, having built a couple of panels using the soldering method, um, I can tell you it is a little bit dangerous in places. It's using silicon tube, which is water. Uh, sorry, food grade and some push fit connections. So far, it's all withstood the temperatures involved. Uh, certainly, the silicon will survive the temperatures, that's good up to 200 degrees. But the push fit connections, I've yet to see them um, fail, but uh, they're not actually designed for possibly 100 degrees centigrade, but they still seem to be surviving okay. Should the pipes not be able to cope uh, internally with the temperature, it's not a big problem to fit them externally and add some extra insulation on them to solve that problem of heat loss. With cost and safety in mind, I was trying to think of a way of storing the hot solar water and I came up with a washing machine tub sometimes you can actually pick these up for free. This one cost me £12.50, already stripped out of a machine. Very sturdy plastic, obviously, designed to withstand near boiling and uh, has to be quite tough to withstand the, the, shake, the shaking inside of a washing machine. This is my submersible pump. It's a 24 volt unit, but I'm driving it at 19 volts from a laptop power supply. 
this is the pump controller which I've built myself uh, I wouldn't attempt to build one if you're new to electronics I would certainly go and purchase one the solar trickle can system is a drain back system which means there's no freezing worries once the pump switch is off and the water is drained through the system through the panels uh, it can freeze over and it will cause no problems there's no need to have any uh, antifreeze in the system uh, in fact you wouldn't want to put antifreeze in the system because you're using the water that runs through it and you don't need a heat exchanger which makes it also slightly more efficient than other systems well I wanted to build one of the uh, most efficient and cheapest systems I could and it took quite a while and a lot of thinking how to do this believe it or not sometimes the simplest things are the most difficult to put together um, obviously it uses no copper tubing and very little aluminium in the way of useful aluminium so I have little worries about it being stolen for scrap uh, which is a big issue at the moment certainly in the UK one of the nice things about this system is while I'm walking through places like this I can actually be picking up these cans and turning them into something useful and saving me money in the process which is a win-win situation as far as I'm concerned the complete system including in total three square meters of solar panel area has cost me approximately 320 to 350 pounds depends what bits and pieces you've got available to you for free or very cheap um, I hope you have a go at making one and start making some head road into getting back at these corporations who seemed hell-bent on charging what they like for what is basically free energy that's out there. So good luck and give it a go.